hey welcome back to my channel uh, i don't know what's wrong with my mic shayad main t pain ki tarah aaj sound kar raha hoonga but i don't know kya ho gaya mic ko aise i try to fix it but then pata nahi uh, sounds like a robot but koi nahi aaj hum वैसे भी मैं कम ही बात करता हूँ आज हम कम बात करेंगे और कम बात करेंगे आप गेम देखो सो मैं प्लेइंग अगेन दैट दैट गेम रेड रेड डेड रेड रेड डेड रिडेमशन टू रेड डेड रिडेम रेड डेड रिडेमशन टू वाओ वॉट एट टंग ट्विस्टर वॉट एट टंग ट्विस्टर सो शुरू किया जाए सपोज टॉकलेस जाओली वैसे भी क्विक अपडेट आई ट्विस्ट माई एंकल सो बैड दैट आई नॉट एबल वर्क सिंस लास्ट थ्री डेज लिम्पिंग लिटरली सो कैसे हुआ दैट्स अ वेरी गुड स्टोरी सो हमारे जेनरेशन का प्रोबेबली सबसे बड़ा अर्थक्विक आया था समय अराउंड सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन आई गेस एट वॉज समय अराउंड सेवन फोर्टी फाइव को सुबह आया था सुबह आया ओके आई वॉज इन डेड स्लीप लाइक मैंने मैं स्लीप आई स्लीप लाइक ए डेड बॉडी बस उस तरीके का सो रहा था एंड ऑल ऑफ सडन माई एंटायर रूम शार्ट लाइक शेकिंग पूरा इधर उधर ओबियस सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन इट्स वेरी बिग सो डर के मारे उठा एंड आई वॉज सो स्लीपी दर आई सारो रनिंग लाइक इन माई स्लीप इट सेल्फ एंड वाइल रनिंग आई ट्रिस्ट इट माई एंकल सो बैड इट्स वेरी बैड इट्स सोल एंड आई एम नॉट बींग ब्लू वॉक बट कोई नहीं सह लेंगे थोड़ा चलो लेट स्टार्ट हो गया बहुत बहुत कर लिया Where's this game starting? Is it starting from the first again? So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Get over here. 
Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <gasps> so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yeah. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Sold them clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles. Born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been in the wrong. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yep. We still heading the right way? That depends. 
Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. In this place, this we're going. Wait, well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. This card is there. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. Yeah, it just yeah. isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Well, things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Oh my. Can I not like... Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time, and we're still yeah, here, so that fast mm -hmm. I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more we got there right. are some actions. Okay, I think this is going to be some... What are you yeah, on there, there anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay, come. Bitch. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? No. Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. So, gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now, it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck, east of the Grizzlies and out of money, and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, business. Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing business. banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work.
the f the fuck happened? What just happened? Catch you, dear baby. Oh my, are you are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? The f we are. Catch So we get out of the hellhole. We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. Okay. Take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. I broke the goddamn wheel. Really hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> Nearly there. Like that. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yeah. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly, uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He 
They told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yep. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkerton's? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. Horseshoe I'll do for now. Overlook. Now, how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. Went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You were wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen. country called the Heartlands. We've been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. 
Arthur. Jose. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. First time in weeks. Nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. Regina. And I ain't losing it now. What do I have to do? You must be hungry. Like you wouldn't believe. Well, I'll leave this here then. In the dirt. Where those other O'Driscolls left my husband. Oh. oh. Yep. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Morning. Morning, Arthur. Morning, Arthur. I should go there. Uncle needs to speak to you. Uncle. Uncle, I'm coming. I wonder if I'll ever not smell a campfire again. I think it's in our skin now. Uncle. Hey! Oi, Uncle! Heck up, Dad. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find what is happening? Why is this game stucking again and again and again and again and again? Don't tell me Kimo attack. I'm starting over anybody. I fucking swear I'll delete this game.
Whoa, whoa. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was well, thanks to sight. Yeah, does it pay thanks. well? Oh, eventually. Pet so, while the All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. I do pet it then. <laughs> Ladies, sing us a song. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Go on. He's an old man. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Uh, can you do another old fella a favor get back on the damn wagon? To Valentine! <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> She's got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And... <laughs> Why didn't you help that poor man? Oh, lumbago. It's really serious. It can be deadly. What about you, Arthur? Do I look like I got the energy to waste on charity? The fool can get his own horse. I don't believe you're quite that cold, Mr. Morgan. Oh, I'm colder than you realize. I feel bad I didn't rob and kill the bastard. <laughs> Very inspiring, Arthur. <laughs> Woo! Oh, <laughs> she. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> Very I'm... funny. This looks like a decent little I have that guy. Other people. Oh, that is Man, right. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. 
Go left here, down the main street. Bear's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. What's the deal? Oh, caught me off guard. All right! Here we are, just like I said. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the salute. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the store. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, lady. What do I do now? Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you, you love me. What a sad Desperately. man, Morgan. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. Can I punch this This is the place, huh? Come on. Morning. Who's coming? So, what do you need? <laughs> Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. I you know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Fellers. your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. 
train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was going to rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. What's up? You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Come. Get your hands off her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You wanna find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly big Jackson. Big mistake lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. Oh my god! Oh. Save this game. Ow! Whoa, oh, oh. whoa! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left.
get that fella's horse. Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. Yep. Not at all. I thought you wanted to head into town. Yes, but this won't take long. Look at the poor fella. Why didn't you help that poor man? If I go. Lumbago. It's real serious. It can be deadly. How about you, Arthur? Do I look like I got the energy to waste on charity? The fool can get his own horse. I don't believe you're quite that cold, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. Well, I'm colder than you realize. I feel bad I didn't rob and kill the bastard. <laughs> Very inspiring, Arthur. <laughs> that character yeah, is funny. <laughs> or is that so uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Or you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> all right! Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle! What are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get you something from the store. Point. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place, huh? Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, yeah, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Why don't Let me know if you have any questions, fellas. Yeah. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. Yeah, well, I got no money on me. Okay, wait for me outside when you're done. Look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of you? I got a lot to shout to that god. I'm in the mountain. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep.
Here's to your good health, my sir. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Chili. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. The gun Thanks, Arthur. Jesus. Uncle! Look after her! I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. So I'm told. Can I help you, sir? Help people. I, d I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? You looking for a room? Use your, <coughs> Use your strength. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. I saw a horse take a bad fall the other day. Broke the rider's leg in three... Well, there's... No trouble now, please! Buddy, I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Uh, Wasting my time. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank. Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep oh, investigating. Okay I will. Yeah. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Please. Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Just following it. You stay away from me! Get back here right now! You stop right here! Not me. Just go away. I don't want no trouble! That's far enough! Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Just pull me up. Come on. All right. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I don't know.
know what to say. I don't know what to do. Okay. Let's let's end this. Here, pura ka pura mood hi kharaab ho gaya. Really sorry. Uh, okay. Never mind. Uh, probably I'll come tomorrow again live. Uh, definitely going to fix. We'll have to fix this game. I don't know what's wrong with this game. But then, tab tak ke liye. If you, baaki ke pichle bhi kafi kuch kuch videos maine upload kiye hain game ke. Uh, if you wanna go, please go and check those videos. And if you are still here watching this video, please uh, subscribe to the channel and also comment down below. Like, uh, how can I make this feed much better? So, okay. Today is enough. Good night.